I truly believe if you have a the right push then walk in your door, you can get them to where they need to be in, in four weeks. And there's just many, many benefits from the Walk Aid versus an AFO. Walk Aid gives people hope, inspiration, and a second chance at life. I'm Amy Peters. I'm a practicing orthotist and prosthetist in Chicago, Illinois. I did my undergrad in biomedical engineering before I went on to Northwestern to study prosthetics and orthotics. The walk gate is an orthotic device that puts electrical stimulation to the peroneal nerve to dorsiflex the foot. It's also unique as it is, has the ability to be programmed to dorsiflex foot at the exact time during gait when the foot needs to be dorsiflexed uh, to clear the toe during swing phase. My typical walk aid candidate would be anyone that has an upper motor neuron lesion, meaning that the problem is in the central nervous system or in the brain. So there's a lesion in the central nervous system that is stopping the signal down to the muscle. So that would be your typical patient um, because you have to have an intact nerve below the knee. So we have to have a patient that just has a signaling problem, so something that's upper motor neuron lesion. And those patients are typically stroke victims, MS, cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injury, and incomplete spinal cord injury of the cervical or thoracic region, which is, once again, upper. The walk aid is very effective for treating foot drop for conditions with upper motor neuron lesions. Typically, you will always get a good signal because their nerve below the knee is intact. So when you put the current, you will see a response. It works very well. Sometimes there's things that you have to work through, but typically we always get a response. Megan's story, she came to me about six weeks ago with the prescription for a solid ankle AFO, which is a brace that goes below the knee. And it wasn't a cakewalk. She um, had very, very tight gastrocs. Um, we couldn't get the dorsal flexion we were looking for, but we knew that we had something. When that happens with kids, you have to start the stimulation very, very low. And you might be just getting the sensory nerves at that point and not really hitting the motor part of the nerve to get the response, but you still have to give it a chance to let her utilize it. And I'm really, really glad we did. There's not enough words that you can say about this machine. If I didn't come across Amy, who is one of the most wonderful people that I've met in the longest time, who had a heart of gold and caring to even let us borrow this machine, we would never be where we are today with her. I look at the short little time she's had this on and the difference that it's made in those muscles in her butt. It's it, I can't even explain it. And it makes me feel amazing because I couldn't do these things. I couldn't like play soccer with my dad and friends and jump rope and do all those things I could do with walking. Walk-Aid in the pediatric population is extremely important to me. I've had very successful um, things happen with kids. They're very, very plastic and they get the best response. And we talk about neuroplasticity and with certain diagnoses in certain populations, I feel that we have the best chance with pediatrics, especially cerebral palsy. That's where I've seen the most success. And most of our adult patients that have been in a brace for 10, 15 years are atrophied, maybe even at less time. So with a walk aid, you are not going to have those results. You're going to have that anterior tibialis firing every single time. And that's what we want for our kids. We want to give them the, the best chance. The specific physiological benefits the walk aid gives are increased dorsiflexion through gait, a good stretch on the gastroc muscle, decreased energy expenditure, physiological cost index goes down, people are not so fatigued, they can do more. A lot of my adult patients, you know, especially my MS community, come in and, and they have to plan on Monday they go to Jewel, on Tuesday they go to Target and they have to separate their activities because they can't get through all of those stores on the same day. With the walk aid, I'm able to increase their energy and they can now do those stores all throughout the day. And that's a huge benefit. I would say the most typical reaction is absolute surprise and excitement that the foot that has never moved 
in 5, 10, 15 years can now move. I don't know what that feeling is like, but you can imagine a foot that hasn't moved in 10 years all of a sudden moving is pretty cool.